Hola, and welcome to Game at Home. Today, I have a few items on my agenda that I need to tackle. It's the weekend, and I do not believe in deep cleaning on the weekend. So let's go ahead and get started in my half bath. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I'm Kim, K-Y-M. This is my home, and I would love it if you would join my YouTube family. We are called the Keep Up Crew, so don't forget to hit subscribe and show that like button some love as well. Take a look at my kitchen. There's just stuff everywhere, stuff that I need to work on. Obviously, I need to do these dishes and put those dishes away. If you put foil at the bottom of your air fryer, it doesn't really get that messy, like all the grease and stuff. So all you want to do is just wash it. On my channel, I love to provide you with tips and tricks to keep your house clean throughout the week so you're not spending your entire weekend cleaning. I am also a fan of painting and rearranging decor. There's never a dull moment in my home. And since I love to eat, I also have to cook, so I will be providing you with some easy 30-minute meal recipes so that you can get through your day. I know we are so busy with working and like trying to take care of things in our home, so I feel like the 30-minute meals are a lifesaver for me. I hope this content is of interest to you and you will subscribe. Have you guys been doing your homework, AKA your affirmations? Be sure that you're looking in the mirror and you're speaking life into yourself because you have to be your biggest cheerleader. Normally we are our own worst critics, but we're not gonna be like that. We're gonna speak life into every situation that we have and into ourselves. You are enough and you are worthy. And if someone tells you different, send them my way. Those people may need some healing in their lives as well. The very next item on my agenda are these vents. I took I'm sure you can see the dirt in there. It's really like dust, well dust and dirt. I removed all of the vents from my second floor, the ones that are actually on the floor, and I wanna go ahead and get these cleaned up. I will handle the ceiling vents another day. Well, there's your overall view of what everything looks like. And also, I have my dishwashing gloves over there, but I will use a different pair of gloves to wash this because that's, to me, it's not sanitary. It's a good idea to have several pair of rubber gloves around your house so that you can use them for different things. I will never use the ones that I use on my dishes for anything else in the house. I'm also using a new sponge to clean the vents rather than using the sponge that's already in the sink. Bacteria spreads, I don't wanna spread that around and I do wash my gloves each time I do my dishes, like afterwards, but I still just feel weird about it, okay? I'm cleaning the vents with Dawn Power Wash and also vinegar. I love to use vinegar. It's a natural disinfectant. Yes, it may smell weird, but there's so many ways that you can prevent that smell from occurring. All of the cleaning products I use are listed below in the description box. Since the vents were cleaned in my sink, I am gonna go ahead and clean the sink out as well with the same thing, Dawn Power Wash and vinegar. Once your sink is rinsed, be sure to dry it out. It helps conserve the life of the sink. vents air dry a little bit because I have like a little project that I want to do for a bridal shower my friends and I did a paint and zip and you know I'm not the best at drawing and stuff like that so I'm just gonna paint over this the paint is cabinet and furniture paint but I believe it will work on this we shall see Fun fact, again, I love to paint, but also I always have all kinds of paint around my house, so I try to use the things that I have here prior to going to the store. It's very cost effective. Sometimes when I'm looking around my house at the decor and I don't like it, the best thing that I can think of without spending money is just to spray paint it or paint it with something else to just kind of change up the look. Make sure you put plastic on your table before you paint because I didn't and there's paint on the table, but it's okay. But this is what the first coat looks like. I may have to do another coat. Here's what it looks like. I put two coats of paint on it and I think I'm gonna just do a little bit of digging into what I, you know, like what I want to do with it and do it on another day, not today. In order to get the paint off the table, I will be using vinegar. Again, there are so many benefits to using vinegar. Vinegar removes calcium, dust, rust, and paint among other things. These look really good. They're not dirty anymore. All of the dust and dirt are off of it. When 2022 began, I said that I was gonna make a conscious effort to try to keep my drawers and my cabinets somewhat clean. So I wanna get the crumbs up from the toaster that are at the bottom of the cabinet. There will be no pretty organization because I feel like it's already organized to the best of the ability of the cabinet for us to be able to use it, if that makes sense. Lots and lots of crumbs from the toaster. I'm gonna get this cleaned up with some vinegar. 
in an ideal world you really should have some cabinet liners at the bottom but i'm just i'm just not feeling that right now okay i'm just trying to get this stuff done <laughs> this is one of the stools that we sit on at the table and as you can see right here i think that's chocolate i don't know what it is but i'm about to get it up that is what i will be using to clean that little chocolate stain or whatever it is up so take a close look okay it's right here i'm sure you can see that has to dry now but it really did get it up quite nicely I couldn't remember the last time I actually cleaned these benches off so I'm gonna do that right now I'm gonna clean them with vinegar so I can get them back right why I have my hands on my hips. <laughs> I already swept the floor, so now it's time to mop. This is my mop. His name is O Cedar. He is my homie. With this mop, all you have to do is wet that pad that's on the bottom with hot water, spray whatever you would like on your floor, and you're done. Just mop the floor after that. I did spray the floor down with vinegar prior to mopping. I didn't include it in the video. I actually took it out just because I didn't want my video to be so long. I know that a lot of people don't watch an entire video, so I'm really trying to keep it under 14 minutes so that, you know, you can at least watch it and get some tips. The floors look really good. It is now time for me to put these vents back. This is my oldest daughter's room. This one is in my bathroom. Nice and clean. Bedroom. I actually have two in my bedroom. This drawer is on my nightstand. I use basically everything in here, but I just need to straighten it up a little bit. It looks much better than what it did. I just have to vacuum out those crumbs. <laughs> I have a really dear friend that I've known since I was in ninth grade and she always sends me deep thoughts. As a matter of fact, when we were in school, she would always tell me deep thoughts that would like freak me out. <laughs> but I wanna share one with you. During the Middle Ages, probably the one mistake that you would make is not putting your armor on when you left the house because you were just going around the corner. In today's world, it's like, okay, before you leave the house, make sure you pray. When you wake up, make sure you pray. That is your armor and you should always have it with you. This chair right here always has clothes on it like every single day. I've been doing a little bit better with getting them folded considering I don't like to do laundry. So I'm really proud of myself. Can I get a pat on the back? I'm just saying. <laughs> I need every one of you to know how much I am so thankful for you being here. You guys really, really make my day with all of your sweet comments. Thank you so much for watching. How are you guys doing today? What has been going on? Are you preparing for spring? Are you spring cleaning? Leave a comment down below. I'm really interested. The day that you guys actually see this video is my birthday. I am finally 21 years old, plus a few other numbers. <laughs> So when my family asked me what I wanted to do for my birthday, I gave them all a restaurant that I wanted to go to because I told y'all I like to eat. I'm really excited. I'm going to a Persian restaurant and then I'm going to a restaurant that has like all kinds of different foods. It's actually like a food court, but it's a nice, nice food court, if that makes sense. It's called Bud Dairy Hall. I gave myself a quote this year to just try to be more of a better person. Here's the quote. Every action you take is a vote for the person you want to become. I feel like life is really about give and take. I know when I was younger, people used to say respect is earned, but I feel like you just need to respect everyone at all times, period, point blank. There's really no reason not to. My theory is there's so many different things going on in this world. People are literally dying. So why am I gonna waste my time being mad at someone? It just doesn't make any sense. So if you really, really feel what I'm saying, please leave a comment down below. It's never too late to set goals for yourself in you know the things that you wanna accomplish in life. There's no need to make a New Year's resolution to be that type of person when you can just wake up one morning and say, you know what, this is how I want to be today and forevermore. 
So the store that I just showed you is called Big Lots, but I call it Odd Lots because that's what it was called back in the day and they always have nice decor in this specific one. Things are changing around the house as normal. It always happens. Anyway, this is what I picked up from Home Goods, a plant stand. It's really nice, it's marble. And it was $24.99. Before I put it where it needs to go, I'm gonna clean it off with vinegar. Another birthday gift that I wanted was just to go home decor shopping because that's what I like to do. <laughs> Not really sure about this, but I do have a 24 hour rule. I have to leave it here for 24 hours before I decide on if I like it or not. And I'm not really sure about it so far. But anyway, this little corner, that's what it looks like. So I haven't really been feeling that lamp over there since I switched the other lamp to my bedroom, but I found this crystal lamp and it is so beautiful. I found it at um, Home Goods, I think. Let me get the price for you. Actual retail price says $55. I feel like I sounded like the guy on, what's that show called? The Price is Right. <laughs> Every time I get new home decor, I disinfect it. I have disinfected everything that you will see in this video with vinegar. Yes, I'm disinfecting the cord as well. See the color of this light bulb that's not gonna work for me that is a soft white light bulb and it like gives a yellow glow we use daylight light bulbs so I'm gonna show you the difference soft white daylight the daylight looks so much better not sure about this right here what is this called you know what I'm talking about a lampshade that's what it's called so I might switch out that lampshade with that lampshade it just fell down so that was my sign. I think that looks much better with that lampshade on. You probably can't tell like on camera, but the shape of this lampshade is a little bit different than the other one. And I like this. Um, this stand right here is no longer going to be here. In my next video, you will see I'm doing kind of like a little makeover for this area. So yeah, stay tuned. Be sure you're subscribed. Okay. One more thing that I want to show you is some of the decor that I purchased. So, okay, this regular price was $3.99. So I got it for half off from at home. This one was $1.99, was not on sale, but that's all right. This one was $8.99. This is fig sauce. And then this one was $7.99. And I'm sure you guys are like, okay, what is she doing with all this different color and stuff? It's all gonna be a different color. Y'all should know that by now if you've been here for a while because you know your girl likes to paint, okay? I could not pass up these items. I like the shapes of them. They were all different and also the different heights. So I just figured, you know what? I'll spray paint them when I get home. That way they all fit my decor style and you know, the type of colors I like. Here's another item that I just received. Thank you so much for being here. Bye guys.